You might be able to tell from the answer choices that this one is starting to get a little bit more complicated. There's a lot of text in there. Uh, it clearly is like a science passage. We can see that it's talking about Jupiter. So, um, you know, don't panic, but, but let's see what it says and let's uh, remember that this is just about the main idea. So dumb summaries are probably gonna help us out. Let's take a look. A subject of much speculation, distinctive sets of parallel ridges mark the icy crust of Europa, Jupiter's smallest moon. Researchers now claim that the ridges formation mechanism mirrors that of a strikingly similar pair on Greenland's sh ice sheet. So it, it, the moon mirrors Greenland. Okay. There, surface water seeped through fissures in the sheet and formed a water pocket that subsequently disrupted the overlying ice, forcing fragments of it upward and outward into peaks as the pocket froze and expanded. Although Europa lacks liquid surface water, the same process could be driven by the moon's subsurface ocean. So notice the things that I'm highlighting are saying that there's a similarity, right? So what they're saying, dumb summary here, right? Dumb summary is they are saying that the moon equals the, I guess Greenland is the other thing, right? That there's some sort of similarity. Now let's just see what this suggests. Let's see if any choices kind of match with that. Uh, main idea of the text. A. Researchers think that the ridges of Europa and the ridges in Greenland may have been formed by the same process, even though Europa, unlike Greenland, doesn't have liquid water on its surface. So, dumb summary-wise, seems good, okay? Uh, this last part maybe is a problem, but I'm not going to worry about it yet. Let's look at B. The primary difference between the ridges on Europa and the ridges in Greenland is that unlike the Europa ridges, the Greenland ridges are parallel. So, just from a dumb perspective, that seems wrong, right? The whole point of this passage is that they're the same, right? They do mention in the passage, you know, like the end here, although Europa lacks liquid surface water, right? They are kind of suggesting there's some difference between these places, but very clearly that's like the extra part of that sentence. The main part of that sentence is no, 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 it's the same process, right? Main ideas are repeated ideas. So there's much more saying that this is similar than there is saying that it's different. So it would be weird to choose a choice like B that says they're different. If we wanted to, we could dive a little deeper here. Um, the main difference is that the ridges on Greenland are parallel. Okay. Did they talk about something being parallel? That's an easy word to, to find, right? This is why you don't try to memorize every little detail. If it comes up in a choice, you can just go searching for that idea, right? Parallel. Okay. So there's parallel ridges on, on Jupiter. So I don't know if there's parallel ridges on Greenland, but it says that they're parallel on, on Jupiter's moon. So that's already proving this wrong, right? The, green, the Unlike the Europa ridges, the Greenland ridges are parallel. It's saying that Europa also has parallel ridges. So just wrong for a couple of reasons. C, the pair of ridges found on Greenland's ice sheet appear to have formed long before the recently discovered sets of ridges on Europa formed. Now that sounds like a difference to me, right? It, again, Maybe it's true, right? A, a faraway moon might have a much longer time span than Greenland, but I, I don't know. And in fact, I don't really care because they never really brought up the time frame of anything. So that's a very common trap, uh, right? Anytime a choice brings up the idea of time, things uh, happening in sequence or in some sort of order, uh, we got to be careful. That might not be wrong. It depends on what the passage says, but it's at least an idea that we can go looking for in the passage. And this wasn't about time, right? What, what does our dumb summary say? It's about them being the same. And so I don't know when these things happened, but more generally, from a dumb summary kind of perspective, if they're from different times, that sounds like a difference. So I don't love that. Let's look at D. Researchers don't understand why Europa is marked by so many sets of ridges when the moon doesn't have any liquid water on its surface that could have collected and expanded under the icy crust. Well, that seems to be completely leaving out Greenland, which was a big part of this passage. But the whole point is that they are saying Europa is like Greenland. So maybe that is the theory. It's not that they don't know or don't understand. They at least have a theory. Maybe that theory is wrong, but they still have a theory of as what's going on. So this is just completely wrong. And, and again, dumb summary of the choice, the same way we dumb summary of the passage. Was the point of this passage to say we don't know something? Did it feel like as you were reading, you were like, oh, this, the, they keep saying they don't know what's happening? I don't think so. I mean... If there's any sort of doubt in the passage, it's only to say, like, we don't know, but here's our theory. Here's what we think is happening. That does not sound like in ignorance to me. So, unsurprisingly, A is the answer. Now, there is this piece at the end, unlike Greenland, uh, which, you know, Europa, unlike Greenland, doesn't have liquid water on its surface. So they're, they are pointing out some sort of difference, but notice that that difference is a minor piece of the choice. The choice is really saying that, that these things are the same. And the passage also says that, yeah, there's a difference in the surface water, right? So uh, Europa doesn't have liquid water on its surface. They say that right here. So it is there, 
Um, it doesn't bother me. The main thrust of that choice is the similarity. And that's what we picked up from our dumb summaries. This is why dumb summaries are so great. Uh, I think the first time I ever did this question, I was really torn between A and B. But you know why? It was because I didn't dumb it down enough. And if I had dumbed it down, A is the answer very, very quickly and very confidently.